What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another shoe review for you guys here today. Today here we have the Nike Dunk Low Championship Red. I'm going to give you guys a quick 360 right quick. A quick one. All right, pause. As always, guys, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. It comes a long way. If you guys do like this video at the end, do like what I do and want to rock with me, make sure you like it up, comment and subscribe. Make sure you comment what you think about the shoe. Rate the shoe. Let me know if you cop or not or if you're going to wait for another shoe to come out whatsoever. Thank you, guys. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me at ChrisMIA underscore, which is my personal. But if you guys want to follow the sneaker pages, you guys can follow at um, Sneakers and Chris on uh, instagram and sneakers and Chris on tiktok and if you guys want to rock with um the club my clothing business with my partner you guys can follow us follow us at tapping 305 on instagram and the website www.tapping305.com we have a lot of things on there if you guys want to rock with us and support us go ahead more than welcome and thank you guys that's pretty much it let's get straight into this video all right so now starting with the box as we always do you know your regular typical nike dunk box you got your regular nike box with the writing in white and the box is in red. That's how it looks. That's how it looks. That's how the bottom looks. Bring you guys the label. That's how the label reads. Pause it, screenshot, whatever you gotta do to make sure you read everything so you guys can know how the label um, looks. So just in case you guys are buying this um, from somebody y'all yeah, um, don't know. I'll read it also. The label reads Nike Dunk Low Retro. University Red White. Size nine, um, code is DD1. 391600 um uk8 size 8 and then the retail is $100 and yeah and as you open it you just see the paper wrapping and the shoe itself all right guys so now that we're done with the balls let's jump straight into the shoe so this shoe released today in many stores um september 7th which is today tuesday but on sneakers for some reason the um release is pushed back to september 16th sneakers been doing this a lot lately with a lot of releases and i see that a lot of dunks also usually regular retail stores release the dunks and then sneakers release the um the dunks way later probably a month later or a couple weeks later and same thing with this they're releasing it september 16th so probably next week so if you guys didn't take a w you guys still got a chance to take a w these are coming out in men's and gs um yeah men's and gs and i think sneakers got men's gs so if you guys missed out no stress you guys got one more chance with um sneakers but aside from that let's jump straight into the colorway as you guys can see just by the box it says it white and red and you guys can see majority of the shoe is just white and red nothing else is different you don't see no black you don't see no other different color but the, the shoe is white and then you have the nice leather material with the red you have it all over your whole tongue and you have the patch the nike patch right here and red and then you have your laces in white, which is pretty clean. Your swoosh, both swoosh are in white and white. You have your onboarded Nike sign back here in red. And then you have the insole in red. And then you always have on your dunks, the Nike inside is majority of the time is orange. I don't, I don't really be seeing other colors. It's always orange. We see it in a lot of our dunks. The Nike inside is orange. And in the back of the tongue, you have all your writing and red in the back of the tongue. And then you also is pure red. It kind of reminds me of the um, the red ones that came out. It's, it's kind of like a reverse version of the red ones that came out, I believe two years ago, or was it one year and a half? It's kind of a reverse version of those. Majority of it was red and then some white, but this one is majority of it, it's like white and then some red. Y'all know what I'm saying? All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Honestly, if you guys are here for sizing, I'll say definitely go true to size with Dunks. True to size is perfectly fine. This is a size nine, not even my size. I think I was definitely met. Um, I was supposed to put nine and a half, but I think I put a size nine on the raffle, and that's what I want. But regardless, reg regardless if it's not my size, I'll still grab it for you guys just so I can pro provide that video. But for me, I wear size ten, but I wear size ten and a nine and a half. You know, if I don't, if I can't get the um the size ten, I'll get the nine and a half. If I can't get the nine and a half, I'll get the size ten. Cause you know these shoes be so limited. Sometimes don't be having your size, so you just gotta, you just gotta have two sizes that you good with. And those are the two sizes I'm good with. But true to size is perfectly fine. You guys can always go true to size with ducks. Um, never, never hurts. Never like hurts to do that. Um, if you can't get your size, I'll definitely say half down is not bad. I wouldn't say go up because you don't want too much space. It's a narrow shoe but you don't want too much space it'll feel weird and you, I, I don't know if you like me i don't like my shoes to be creased so if i have a lot of space in these 
the shoe gonna get creased, you know? So I feel like a tighter um, fit will be better so it don't get creased, if you like me. But if you don't care, and you do some people to be like, man, shoes look better when it's creased, go ahead, do what you do. Do what you do to your liking, man. But Oh, pause, I forgot to rate the shoe. So, for me, in my opinion, I'm giving this a solid eight and a half. It's not a bad shoe, like I said, it's kind of, it's like the shoe, um, the red ones that came out, just a reverse version. You got the majority white and it's some red instead. You know, so it's pretty clean, it's pretty clean. I wanted to pair the um, the ones that came out before, I wanted it for a person, but I get I didn't get a chance to buy it, um, to get it at retail, but I'm glad, I'm glad to have these um, right now. And I guess it's a second chance, you know, second chance for most of us that couldn't get the first one. But aside from that, yeah, eight and a half. Don't forget to comment below what you're rating on it. Did you go for these or, or are you waiting for sneakers? Or are you just gonna pass on these? It's not what you like, it's not what you're looking forward to. And that's it guys for my video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Again, it's Sneakers and Chris. I'll see you guys in the next one.